listening to the full of joy podcast today this is episode number 11 and it is finally the first episode of 2020 i am so excited to be back here recording and filming this for you guys and over the holidays and over the past few weeks i took some time off and it was really nice and i spent a lot of time really planning and dreaming and thinking about what i want this year to look like what I want this year to look like for the podcast, for my other content, for my clothing line, for me personally. And there are so many fun things that are coming this year. So I'm so excited to share those experiences with you and learn more about having a joyful perspective. So in today's episode, we're talking about my 2020 mindset, the new year, resolutions, goals, vision boards. So I hope this episode inspires inspires hope for the new day is to come. And before we get started, I hope that you will subscribe to this podcast and rate it anywhere you like to listen, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play. And of course, while I record these, I always film them. So these podcasts live on YouTube as well. So let's start with talking about my 2020 mindset. So I feel like I have a lot of goals, career goals, fitness goals, mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual, and I just want to grow in all the ways. And every year is always such a big year of growth, even without me planning on it, without me even throwing in business additions and marriage and just like new things to my days. There is just already so much growth that is like unexpected and there's so many experiences that are so unexpected and so many things you can't plan for. So since life is so short and so unpredictable, I want to work on growth so that I can be strong when my days do go through those unpredictable predictable changes and I want to be able to enjoy all of my days fully and I want to fully live and see the joy in my days and since life can very quickly change and very quickly become overwhelming I want to take advantage of this time in my life where I can really focus on my goals and my growth And I just want to be stronger mentally, physically, and spiritually so that when those tougher seasons come along, I will be stronger for them. So let's talk about how I hit my goals. So one thing that I do is I use vision boards and this will actually be my third year in a row making a vision board. And the one that I've been working on this year, I have it actually right here next to me. This one seems like the most intentional and the most specific one that I've made yet. So So if you are totally unfamiliar with vision boards, every time I've made one, I filmed on my channel and the one that I made for 2020, I'm still working on. It's like almost there, but I want to add a couple more things. So that will be going on my YouTube channel soon. But if you want to hear a little bit more about the ones I've made in the past, those do live on my channel. So if you don't know what a vision board is, basically how I do them, I feel like you could make them a bunch of different ways. So what I do is I'll just like grab some magazines that I have. I don't know how, but I got on like mailing list for all these magazines. So I always get magazines shipped to our house and I love it. It's so fun. I actually love flipping through magazines. But so what I will do is I will cut out pictures or images of words that inspire me. And I do all different categories of anything that I want to focus on this year. So obviously it's totally customizable for you. And I try to be really specific about my goals. And then I put all all those cutouts and all those pictures and all those words onto this board. I have like a board that you like can press in thumbtacks or you can use like a whiteboard or like a you know piece of paper, like whatever type of board you have. But I just have this board, so I use that. And then the thing that I do that makes the biggest difference is I put this vision board somewhere I will always see it. So make sure it's somewhere you will see it every day so that subconsciously you will always be looking at it and always see it without even really realizing. And it will kind of be almost like a reminder to focus on those things. So let's go back to the categories. So I like to break up my vision boards into categories. It just helps me stay organized. And, you know, anytime I want to work on a certain goal, I can like envision that space of that category on the vision board. And I'm like, oh, yeah, 
I want to work on running this year because that's in my fitness like collage on my vision board. So it just kind of helps me stay organized and really helps me visualize even better. So the categories that I typically have and the ones I have this year and the ones I also had last year are fitness, nutrition, mindfulness, and business. I just have these four categories. Those are what I chose to focus on this year in my life. Those four categories are the things that I want to see the biggest changes in this year in my life. If I get to choose, obviously, God willing, those are going to be the things that I focus on. Um, But and then, you know, along with that, I feel like just living an unpredictable life living in the world we live in there's going to be things that come up that I wasn't prepared for that I'm not ready for but hopefully by working on these things and being intentional with my days I'll be able to handle all that this year throws at me with a positive and joyful mindset so I want to share some of my tips when I make vision boards like I said I've only made them for like three years I'm still fairly new to them but the one I made last year in 2019 worked. It worked for me and I just saw really great results from it and I had this the best year of my life and I think having a vision board helped me stick to my goals and it helped me stay intentional and it helped me stay focused and yeah, I just feel like having a vision board is really just kind of a support and just helps remind you of your vision and your dreams. And I just think it brings a lot of positive energy and positive reinforcement. And I'm so here for that. So I want to give you guys some of my tips. So tip number one is focus on what you want, but also focus on how that is going to make you feel. So as an example, on my vision board this year, I have a photo of a girl that looks like she just got finished running a color run and those look so fun. But I saw that picture in a magazine and I was like, you know what? Like I've never ran in any type of like competition (laughs) like I've never ran a mile run I've never ran a 5k I've never ran a marathon I've always seen those color runs and they look so fun in the area that I live um especially when I lived like downtown last year there was always runs going on and they look so fun and I've never done something like that and I'm just not a runner I I always used to say "I'm, I'm not a runner I can't do that but now I enjoy running because I do a lot of like hit and high intensity workouts and I go to orange theory so now I enjoy running more obviously or not obviously but I am not where I want to be yet with my running experience but one of my goals once I saw that photo of this girl that was like holding a medal and she's at the finish line and she's all colorful because she did the color run I was like I want that I want that feeling of like holding that medal and knowing I did it because I've never done something like that so I was like well, I'm gonna put that on my vision board but Along with that, I have this beautiful inspirational photo of this beautiful girl, this strong girl who did this. But along with that, I want to have words that inspire me. So I put words like strong. I have fitness. I put words that say push up challenge. That's another thing I want to do. But I just, you know, you can put words like happy or you can put words like free, anything that kind of describes the feeling you would have or accomplished if you were to make that goal, if you were to do that goal or accomplish that. So to me, seeing that girl run that marathon and be at the finish line with her medal, I was like, that makes me feel good. So I put that picture on there. And then I also put accompanying words or you can use other pictures that kind of, you know, portray how that will make you feel. So on the vision board, I can see the result and I can also see the rewarding words surrounding that. So my next tip is making the vision board is the first step. It's not going to work like magic. That would be awesome if it did. But basically, to me, I feel like, you know, after you make your vision board, then you you're kind of inspired and you kind of feel almost support from yourself to allow yourself to work towards those things. So this is where I kind of see the law of attraction coming into play. So to me, I think that the law of attraction and vision boards really go together because it's using your subconscious mind. So what you put out, you will get back. What you reap is what you will sow. And having this board of inspiring images and then constantly seeing those goals and images or dreams without even realizing it, I will be focusing on those things more and focusing on, you know, how can I reach that? How can I get there? And subconsciously, without even thinking about it, my brain is thinking about it. So without me even knowing that, like, I'm seeing that girl at the finish line every day, I am subconsciously seeing that and that will, you know, almost inspire me and encourage me to keep reaching towards that goal and do things in my days that will get me there. 
So my next tip is that you guys know this and so many of you guys are also in the same boat and I feel like you guys, a lot of you have a really positive and joyful mindset and I think that is key and I believe that my life is meant to be full of good things and I believe that I will receive goodness in my days and I look for those good moments and that kind of goes along with my next tip. And that is to notice when the board is working, notice little changes and recognize those small victories and really just recognize favor, search for God's favor. So to me, I love talking about favor. I love thinking about favor. I just, I love favor. Favor has been like one of my favorite words the past year or so. So to me, one way that I experience God is through favor. So favor to me is like good things happening in my days. Good things can be really simple or really complex. Good things in your days can be small or they can be big. For example, it can be something like a problem being resolved or something being really funny or an unexpected good experience. Favor is just beautiful and it brings me hope. So when you're working on your goals, be aware and be present and be thankful to be gaining from your experiences. Even when you're not at the end goal yet, you're able to work towards something today. And I think that is great. And there's just so many ways that you will experience God's favor if you're searching for it, I think. And I have so many stories of times that I've experienced favor and it's just beautiful. So I feel like the more that you're focusing on those good things and the more that you're, you know, just being aware and being mindful of favor, I think more favor will be, you know, recognizable to you. You'll be able to experience it more and you'll be able to, you'll be able to experience it more fully because, you know, because you're open to it. So those are my tips. So I mentioned that my 2019 vision board worked for me. So I want to quickly kind of go through my old vision board and then talk about the changes I made to my new vision board and kind of let you guys know like what worked for me and things I also, you know, things I want to change, things that didn't work for me, my mistakes, stuff like that. So in my 2019 vision board, I have a picture of it on my phone here because I already took it apart, but I had one, two, three, four. I had four categories also in 2019 and one was love. One was mindfulness. Oh, I had five categories. One was business. One was travel and one was health and fitness. So yeah, I kind of made nutrition and fitness all into one. Let's just call that health. So I had love, health, mindfulness, business, and travel. So Let's start with love. I really wanted to be present in the year of 2019 because that was the year that Brad and I got married and we were just surrounded by so much love and my love for Brett grew so much that year and it still is and I just felt so so much love around me and it was just like the year of love. So I had on my vision board words like celebrate love and I had some pictures of a beautiful wedding that I saw in a magazine and the couple in those wedding photos looked so like looked so intentional with each other and they looked so in the moment and so present and so happy. So I was like, I want that. So I really made it a point to be really present at any wedding event and, you know, really present with Brett and really just try to feel the connection with Brett and, you know, do things that will connect us. And yeah, I mean, that worked. (laughs) That really worked for me last year. So I loved that one. And then I had the health and fitness and nutrition category. And last year I actually lost like 20 pounds. So that was a great year for me. I had some unhealthy fat that I didn't want on my body and I wanted to feel really strong as a new wife and I just want to take care of myself so I can take care of my family better. So yeah, it was a great year for me physically. And then having that physical health also really helped my mental health. But going along with that, I really wanted to focus on mindfulness and meditation. And I think there was definitely growth last year in the mindfulness category, but I still have that on my vision board this year because I want more growth. I want to completely heal. I just want to heal from my anxiety and heal from fear. And I just want to heal of doubt. And I want to just be full of, you know, full of goodness. And I want to get that negative, toxic anxiety out of my head and out of my body because it affects you in so many ways. So I just want that out. So I wish I had made a little bit more progress on it last year, but I did what I could. And this year I'm going to be more intentional about that. 
Um, and then I had the business category. So I had some great quotes on there that I actually kept for this year. So in my business category, I have a quote that says, you had a purpose before anyone had an opinion. And I thought that was beautiful. I just, I'm going to say that again. You had a purpose before anyone had an opinion. Amen. I just feel like that is so fitting, especially for this podcast. I just think there are so many reasons you can doubt yourself. There are so many reasons you can have an excuse. There are so many excuses and there's valid excuses, but you have a purpose. And I hope that this podcast and I hope that, you know, the things in your days inspire you to, you know, keep going after that purpose. Um, Another quote I had in 2019 was always ask yourself, can I be thinking bigger? And whoa, did that, like I did that (laughs) last year. I thought really big and I kept going for it and I kept reaching for more things. And Brett was such a big support of that. And, you know, just, yeah, that was a great year for asking myself, can I be thinking bigger? So I hope I can continue to do that and yeah, just really go for it. I also had uh, the words New York and a little map like little dot on here and I actually had the opportunity to go to New York three times for work last year like as a work trip so that was mind-blowing to me like literally cannot believe that so I definitely got my fair share of New York visits and uh, I have podcasts on there so I did that I launched my podcast I have a little note that says make a difference and I hope that I am doing that through this podcast and through my full of joy merch and just through my content I hope that at least it you know, maybe helps you guys have a better day. So there's that. I have a Chanel bag on there. I did not get a Chanel bag (laughs) last year, maybe this year though. And then the last category I had on my 2019 vision board was travel. So I've mentioned this on my podcast before that I struggle with travel. It's just um, a point of anxiety for me and it brings a little bit of fear and I don't like to fly and I just don't like being away from home. I'm a big time homebody. Um, But last year I actually traveled six times, like went somewhere six times, went away from my home so many times. And I think two of those times were solo. So I traveled by myself. I flew by myself, which is something I thought I would never do. Literally told myself like, I'm not going to do that, but I did it. I said yes. And I did it. And I had the best experiences on those trips last year. So Uh, Brett and I went to the Bahamas for our honeymoon. I went to New York three times. Brett and I went to Miami. We went to Nashville. No, and we went to Chicago, so that's seven times. But I don't really count that because we drove and it's like a quick trip. But anyways, yeah, I did a lot of travel. So even though on some of those trips, I still had feelings of fear and I still had feelings of anxiety, like even though that happened, I think that from those experiences of travel, I was able to gain from those. I was able to grow from those and push myself out of my comfort zone. And if that was all that was, then I'm, I'm okay with that. And I pray that me continuing to do things that are scary to me, me continuing to push myself out of my comfort zone will hopefully make my comfort zone bigger and I'll be able to continue to grow. But yeah, so 2019, my vision board really worked for me. And so this year, being that, you know, I saw that last year worked. I was like, I'm going to be more specific this year. I really want, I want to hit my goals. I want these things that are on my new vision board. Like I want them and I don't want myself to get in the way of that. So let's talk about my 2020 vision board. So the thing is, I loved my old vision board. I loved the photos on there. I loved the quotes on there. I loved the words. I just loved it. And I didn't really want to change it. But now that I took everything off and I have this fresh start, especially being that it is the new year, having all these new pictures on there to motivate me really helped inspire me even more and help me be more specific. And it just really helps. So I encourage you, like, even though, even if you made one like six months ago maybe rethink it and like go through a magazine maybe even add to it but yeah having these new photos really inspired me and just having these new goals and even the past few days that I've had this vision board and I've been waking up I picture some of the words and some of the pictures on this vision board and they inspire me to wake up stop pressing snooze and get my butt out of bed and work towards these goals so it's already been helping me so I'll quickly go through my 2020 vision board. If you want to see it, I will have um, a video on my YouTube channel all about it coming soon. So for this year, I have a couple categories. I have four categories. I have fitness as one category. I have nutrition as another category. 
and I have business slash money as another category and then kind of like mind life meditation category (laughs) so let's start with the fitness one like I said I have a picture of a girl running a race and she finished it and she has her gold medal and she's so beautiful that will be me mark my words Um, I have the words like fitness I have push-up challenge I have strong and the cool thing about this fitness one is I have a girl that is like made a muscle pulling up like on a bar or something and she just looks amazing but then I also have a picture of a girl doing yoga and I was like that is so complex and you know my body is complex my mind is complex and like every day I could want to do something different so like not every day am I going to be wanting wanting to do orange theory and not every day am I going to want to do yoga but I want to allow myself to try new things and get new hobbies and be you know complex with my fitness because it's fun why not I have the ability to do these things with my body so I why not try it out and then I have push-up challenge on there so the other day Brett and I like did push-ups and counted how many we could do I could do 13 I think it was and my goal is 50 so I have to add a few more (laughs) onto that but I have all year to make that goal so hopefully I can do that So moving over, I have a nutrition category. So in the nutrition category, I obviously want to focus on food and getting the most nutrient dense foods, you know, into my body so I can flush out toxins and heal. And I think that having, you know, this amazingly healthy food in my body will also help me mentally. Um, I have the words your routine. I really want to focus on my routine. And by that, I mostly mean my morning routine. I just love mornings. I'm a morning person. I like to wake up early and, and just do whatever in the mornings. I just love being being alive in the morning. It is so fun for me. So I have the words your routine. I have the words own your morning and the early edition. So that just kind of inspires me to wake up. And it's written in yellow. So that's really nice. It's I think yellow sparks joy. So yeah, having those words on there and I have the words wellness journey. They just inspire me to stick with my routine and, you know, make healthy decisions and make healthy choices. And it's going to be fun. I also have the words joy is a nutrient. I love that. I thought that was beautiful. And there's going to be a lot to go along with that this year. I'll just say that. And then moving on to the business category, I have this girl who just looks beautiful. She's just this blonde, looks like a model. She has on like a leopard print sports bra with leopard print leggings and a leopard print coat holding her coffee and she just looks hot. And I was like, I want to look hot like that. And she's a girl on the go. And like, I want to be a girl on the go, especially Brett and I were talking about this working from home. It's very easy to stay home a lot. So I think it's good for you mentally and physically to get out of the house, especially if you are working from home or get out of your office for a little bit. So yeah, we want, Brett and I both kind of want to make it a point to like work at a coffee shop or, you know, get out and run errands when we have to. So yeah, I have the words girl on the go on this picture of this cute little girl because I'm like, I want to look like that. Like she looks great. And like, she's got her coffee, she's got her workout outfit on and she looks cute. So I'm like, that's inspiring to me. (laughs) Like, I want to do that. Um, I have the words saving money. Brett and I want to save a lot of money this year so we can do fun things with our money. And then I have, again, on here, always ask yourself, can I be thinking bigger? Because I thought that was a beautiful saying and I want to keep that in mind. So the last category I have for 2020 is my kind of like mindfulness category. So again, I kept the make a difference. little note, I love that. So I have the words mind, life, meditation, and happy healing. There's a lot, (laughs) there's a lot in there, but I just think that if I can have more mindfulness and clear my mind and be able to learn how to meditate and basically what I need to do is allow myself the time, give myself the time to learn meditation and to, you know, feed my mind good things because right now I, I have the time. I'm just not using it for that. So that's really something I want to add into my routine is you know, mindfulness and giving health to my mind because it's so important. And I think that our minds are so beautiful and I just want to take care of it and help it grow and yeah, bring me good things. And then on there, I have happy healing, which if you guys know my story, I'm still in the healing process. I think I always will be. And I just want to heal and I want to be happy and happy healing. I just thought was beautiful. So that is my tentative draft of my 2020 vision board I think it might change I want to add some things to it I want to add a little bit more about business and stuff like that but I think it's a really great start 
And going along with the mindfulness and anxiety that I feel, something that I'm going to be working on this year, and this kind of goes along with this 2020 Mindset podcast episode, is that I will be searching for God's favor. And I just kind of want to talk about that again, because basically what I do is I want to start the day with the intention of searching for God's favor. I feel like that will help me just start out on a really good note and a really good mindset. And it just brings hope that just me saying, you know, I'm going to be searching for God's favor today. That is me literally proclaiming that there is favor today. There already is favor today. It's happening around me. It's already here. It's already made for me and it's going to be beautiful. But what I'm saying is all I have to do is find it. All I have to do is search for it and look for it and it'll come. So I think that is beautiful. So that is one way that I'm tackling my mindfulness and anxiety this year is that I will be searching for God's favor because I don't want to be blind to goodness. I want to see it. I want to see that goodness and I want to feel it in its fullness and favor is so real and more favor will come just like joy. And you know, when one good thing happens, more good things will come. And that's something that I learned last year and I've been learning so much is that good things come and that's not it. That's not where it stops. And I think that is so beautiful. And I just wanted to remind you guys of that, that like, if you have a good day, like that's not it. Like you can have more good days. You can have even better days. Like don't cap yourself out. Don't put limits on your days. Favor is real and joy is real and it's coming for you in 2020. And there's just so many good things. So also something I wanted to talk about is that when I'm starting to feel anxiety, I like to obviously try to talk to myself and talk myself out of it and you know I'm learning how my mind works and I'm learning what works for me and basically what I want to do this year is when anxiety does come to me I want to know ways to heal it I want to know you know routines I can do or tools I can use you know to kind of combat it so when I'm starting to feel anxiety something that I've been thinking lately is I'm only here for a short time and I'm supposed to enjoy this moment so when I put it into that perspective that I'm literally only here enjoying this moment with my husband when we're both happy both healthy for this moment I gain perspective and gratitude and I just want to fully enjoy that moment so where before you know if I'm starting to feel anxiety no matter what you know, why it's coming on or where we are, what's happening. You know, I would used to think like, oh, I just want to be somewhere else. I'm uncomfortable. Like this is sucky. This is really uncomfortable. So even in those smallest situations that don't really matter, like driving in the car with Brett or, you know, like just anything, anytime anxiety is starting to come, I just think to myself, I'm only here for a short time and I'm supposed to enjoy this moment. So I'm enjoying this. And that's really helped me kind of put everything into perspective. So that is my mindset for 2020. I hope that you guys are inspired with some ways to create goals for yourself this year. And I want to encourage you to be full of joy, hope, and strength in the new year. So I hope that through listening to this 11th episode and episodes to come on this podcast that you feel encouraged to create a place for joy in your life. I hope that you will welcome joy, invite joy, and seek days that are full of joy. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I want to invite you to subscribe to this podcast and follow our Instagram at Full of Joy Podcast. I'll talk to you guys soon.